I thought we was a bit slow at the blocks first 10 minutes. Obviously, knew it was going to be a kind of party atmosphere. Um, once we got to grips with the game in the, in, 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 in the first half of 10, 15 minutes, we were, we were comfortable. We had a couple of scares, but apart from that, we, we, I was kind of satisfied with what we were doing. Overs gets a great chance in the first half. Um, done a couple of chances, not really good ch chances, but you think, OK, I'm just talking two hours just before the half-time on game. Uh, we're fine, we're comfortable. We've, got, we've grown into the game. And, um, you know, if we keep it like this, then they'll get nervous and then we'll get chances. And then, obviously, you can't account for what happened after that, can you? So, I mean, we've, we've, we've sort of in that situation a few times, you know, the games mm. hinge on small moments, don't they, really? Or big moments as it happens? Yeah, it does. And listen, <clears throat> again, he's disappointed in there, but he made some wonderful saves in the second half, when he tripped onto the bar. Um, but listen, it, it, it's a game changer for us. You know, he knows that. Um, and you can't, you can't get caught with that. You know, as a goalkeeper, you've got to look both ways. You've seen enough, you've seen enough um, funny clips over the years where people, players have come round behind goalkeepers and nicked the ball and scored. So, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a shame for us, you know what I mean? Because I, I just felt that they would get nervous, and rightly so, because they're going for the, the playoffs. Um, and we just came up, you know, a leg up to be fair and uh, that's a different point of thing about it I've seen it again like you said though the, in the second half two had some chances you know weren't yeah. it, was, it was Luton's day to a degree you know they were the ones going for the playoffs but we were keen to, to make sure mm. that it wasn't going to go out with a whimper or anything like that no definitely not and that's one thing I wanted to you know make sure you know and I, I wasn't happy at half time I told them so all those fans have come here today full house um, give them something to be excited about it's the last, last game of the season and I want to go back thinking right next year you know it's not, it's not, we, can be negative, we can be positive rather than negative, and to be fair, we was all over them second half. You, you, you can get that because they're getting nervous, they're just kicking the ball anywhere. Um, I, I can deal with that, but we had chances. You know, Mo had a great chance, Luke has got to do better. Um, uh, so it's disappointing in that manner. But listen, at the end of the day, we've shown what a good team we are at times. This is about seven or eight players. You know, and then we've all seen, seen that Luton, you know, a six, well, I think six or fifth in the table, I think it might, might be six, I think it might be. Um, I was definitely started the way we play. But I said to Lanzini, listen, we've come here in the second half and actually, you know, not annihilated Luton, no disrespect. So we need to build on it for next season. Whoever's in charge, what players are coming, what players are going, we need to build on it because this team, if they have the same standards and demands that we've given, me and Alex, they, they, they won't be in this situation. They really, really won't. So, listen, we need to get everything right. We need to get the recruitment right. Uh, we need to see where we're at. But at, at times today, we looked like a really, really good side. And um, it's a shame to lose a goal the way we did. But there's lots of positive. As I said, the objective was to stay in this league. I keep re reiterating it. Um, and, you know, it was nice that the fans gave the players, you know, myself, a good applause at the end. It really, really is. You know, I mean, I said they've been, before they've been fantastic. They've been fantastic with me. They've been fantastic with Al. They've been fantastic with Brad. They know the situation. They know how hard it is to keep this team in this league. So, to achieve that is great. But there's a lot of work to do. See, one of the things that's going to be positive too today, you know, Kelvin Abrefa, he's come off the bench the last couple of games. With Sean Scott getting his debut and you know, really trying to make a handful of himself. So these are the sort of moments too, you know, to come into a big game as well, and and, and they'll relish that experience, won't they? Yeah, it is, and too fair. With, yeah, no, sure. I mean, Yak's not, Yak's not, Yak's not played for a while, so um, you know he can only do 60, 70 minutes. And as you said, you're looking at your bench, and we've got a very young, young bench, and but it's great that they can come on, not look out of place. Scott, I thought Scott did very, very well. He's one for the future. And these little bits of 10, 15 minutes experience. You know, I would, I would like to put Kelvin on, um, but you can only make three subs. You know, I hope that changes to next year to five. Um, but no, no, listen, it's great for these kids. They go home, they're a bit excited. They can tell their mum and dad's, you know, I've made my debut. And I remember making my debut when I was 17, 18. It's the biggest thing ever for me. Um, so it's nice that you can help these people along. Um, and it shows, you know, we've got to look to the future. We've got to look at the 23s. We've got to put them put them in situations like this to say how to handle it. And I thought I both handled it very well. And lastly, as you said there, you know, going into the summer, it's all about the supporters. They're going to be here. They'll be here forever, won't they? You know, yes, they will. This next season and beyond. And, and as you said, it's really nice to, you know, not to get the win today, of course, but, you know, to, to share that little moment with them. They're always appreciating the efforts, even if it doesn't come off. Yeah, listen, listen, and that's, that's what the fans want. As long as they get a team, you know, you see these Luton fans, you know, and they, they just they kick it long and they get the second balls. But there's a... It's, 
it's a replicate of the people they are, you know, the working people that they are. And all they want is like commitment, desire. You know, they can live with mistakes. And that's like Reading fans, you can live with mistakes. You're not going to win every game. But if, they, if they see that the players are putting it out on the pitch and leaving it out on the pitch, which we have done, irrespective of the results that have happened in that, they, they, they play, listen, we lost, but the lads have really given it a shift. And again, today was one of those days. Really give it a shift. Um, and listen, next year, it's a new season. And uh, hopefully the fans will come with a positive mood. I'm sure they will. Because I've, I've never had some great moments like this season. You know, the 4 4, Sheffield United. So I don't too many of those moments, but you know, it's the fact that the fans are great and the, they're, 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 the, they're the people that more matter at the football clubs, the fans. So fingers crossed um, they'll be coming next season. Hopefully um, we can keep putting smiles on their faces.